awesome The world is full of iconic figures The people praise them They stock us up at a high percentage The giants in our eyes The sky's the limit The picture painted is larger than life But God is bigger Your God is greater I weigh them on the scale Like cracks and gators Found that only God can save us And God is gracious That's who we flock to In the day of trouble And when we blow it like hot food the song's official, nobody's great of a Shaw Mitchell. You got it right with that song. Hello, hello, hello. RMC and we're back. We're back. Uh in 2016. Yes, we made man, it. Amen. God has saw fit to cross us over, and because of that. It is a blessing, isn't that right? Absolutely. Amen, amen. Just want to say hello and happy new year to everyone. Uh, today, uh, I'm here with the uh, fabulous Kimball Jemerson. <laughs> amen, amen. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> amen, <laughs> amen. And uh, a major part of uh, Pressing Forward Ministries, and we want to... Uh, thank you, amen uh, It says uh, After we thank God for being able to make it all possible We want to thank you for Thinking enough of us Letting us be your in-house pastor Here at uh, Pressing Forward Ministries And today um, We're waiting on the uh, First Lady Amen To come in uh, But we know that she is on her way and also, um, we want to give shouts out to Miss uh, Marquita Lloyd, Poetic Pride, Amen. Our uh, our spiritual, Amen. Uh, right. Lyricist, Amen. Our our lyricist. Yes, 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 yes. And, uh, she wears many hats. Many, yeah. Amen. She's somewhere wearing a hat right now. She might be doing a praise dance right now. Actually. You know, you know. And but but she will be with us. Uh, I spoke to her. Uh, Thursday, and she said that she will be back with us um, on next Saturday. Uh, going into uh, this new year, um, we want to focus on just that. Amen. Uh, a new beginning. A new beginning. And uh, before I get into it, some of you may not know me. Uh, my name is Reverend John M. Cole Pepper Jr. Pastor of Holy St. Andrew's Missionary Baptist Church, and we're located at 2410 West Florence, and uh, we have a phenomenal um, Bible study, uh, which is held for at your convenience if you can't make it out during the week. We, we hold it uh, first, second, and third Saturdays on uh, at the church at 9.30. And uh, we also have a phenomenal Sunday school uh, every Sunday morning uh, for all ages uh, at 9 o'clock. And our morning worship is at 11. And we feed and we clothe the homeless on, um, on fourth Saturday. So, you know, we're blessed to be a blessing. If you know anyone who needs uh, help in that area, please send them our way uh, so that the blessing can continue uh, to flow. And uh, getting back to this new year, um, that's what we want it to be. We want something new. We, uh, our parents always told us that you want to be better than the day before. You, you want to do better than the year before. You, you want to uh, progress. You don't want to regress. So um, we thinking about that, uh, I think the topic we'll use today is a new beginning uh, for the year of 2016. And the scripture uh, that I will be using for that will be coming from 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 5 and the 17th verse where it says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And the thing I like about that, uh, Brother Kimball, is the fact that, you know, it, uh, 
lets you know the only way that you can do a new thing is to get into Christ. You you know, we, we've, uh, now, now I know me as a living witness, I tried to change myself. Right. I, I couldn't do it. I tried, to, I tried to change my mannerisms. I tried to change the way, my way of thinking, my way of acting, uh, uh, the way I thought about folks. Uh, you know, I changed it for a little while, but the next thing you know, uh, here comes JC. <laughs> and, and, and I have you right back in the box that I had you in before. But um, the difference is when you allow Christ to make the change in your life. Um, so I'm just going to ask you, uh, uh, first and foremost, you know, because some people feel like, you know, they're all right. Right, right. You know, ain't, I ain't no need, ain't no need in changing. I, I've been doing good for the last five, six years. You know, uh, it's all, it's, what's, what's it say? I, it's all good. Yeah. You know, so uh, uh, w- w- uh, what can you tell our listeners concerning the question um, uh why is it important for us to look for a change, to even want or need a new beginning? Well, on the simple fact that just being a, progress- a progressive human being, we are always on a mission of change and progressing forward with our lives. And if you don't think you need help or you can do it alone, you, I guarantee you, you will hit a wall one day. And when you hit that wall, <laughs> right. you will be there by yourself crying out to God for his help and his mercy. There is no man that can walk this earth alone. We were not brought here for that purpose and that reason to walk alone. So for a new beginning, we if you are a person that just wants better for yourself, for your family and those around you, you're constantly striving for a new beginning. We're, you're constantly striving to improve yourself in your life because everybody else benefits from it as well other than you and we are also here to be of service and being of service in that way I'm being of service to my family I'm being of service to my my neighbors I'm being of service to my co-workers if I'm constantly working on improving myself and being of service we all benefit so if I benefit if you benefit from me being make having a new beginning I'm gonna benefit from you and your new beginning you see what I'm saying because we eventually come around full circle to a place of agreement and moving forward together as one as opposed to separate and as individuals you know so I I think it's important the the new beginning I, I feel like myself at this particular moment like God is teaching me something right now because of mm-hmm. something that I I'm personally challenged with and I and I know it's for my greater good all right. You know, so in the midnight hours, when I, as I told you earlier, I was tossing and turning, couldn't sleep last night because this particular <laughs> thing being on my mind, I, All right. I have to just surrender and allow God and the universe to do its thing and just know that I am not in control here. All right. You know, I am just a vessel. I am just a soldier. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm a child of God, but I'm also an individual struggling with life's temptations you know ah. what i'm saying so it's just, oh yeah i'm working on my new beginning as well and 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 that's a beautiful thing the way how you uh you brought that out because you know uh due to the fact that you're looking at things in the right perspective and recognizing, yes, I am a child of God, but I'm also wrapped in this flesh and I'm doing, uh, I have to go through the same way the, the next man has to go through. Yes, you, you you don't get caught up in that thing called denial. Right. See, right. And, there, and there's so many people today that are defeating themselves and the new, new the, the new beginning can't they can't even fathom a new beginning coming about because they're in denial about the fact that uh, a new new beginning is something that even exists all right and, and I, I like the way that uh, that you spoke about that the um, we are helpers to one another um, because truly we don't know the line of people that are behind us. You have to understand that the world is looking at you. Uh, uh, Sinner, saved, uh, you know, you feel like you're in between alike. It doesn't. It doesn't make a difference. Eyes are on you, At all and times. and and you have to understand that. That's why the devil rises so much. Not 
to want to get into a new beginning with Christ because he understands that there are so many people that are behind you and they're lined up and they're watching you and they're saying, well, you know, uh, how can I get what she has? But see, the only way they're going to ask that is if you come into the new beginning. And, 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 and I'm to here. To receive it. Yes. And I'm here to tell you that, you know, once you come into that light, the devil knows that once that light shines, it's going to shine on a lot of people who wouldn't who, who who would not come to Christ. Right. So therefore, ergo he says, you know, I don't want nobody to change. You know, nobody needs a new beginning. You know, you're doing all right just where you are. Amen. But we are, like I said, blessed to be a blessing and when and the best blessing that we can have in our lives is to surrender our lives to Christ. Because truly we cannot begin to live until we give our lives to Christ. We're gonna go ahead and go to a commercial break and jump back in on this hot topic. Uh please give us a call. Does some Somebody have that number uh, where, where 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 they can call us in? Is it? Well, All right. Well, we'll be right back, and we're going to have that number for you. Amen. It, it's, it's Take so, your screen. It'll probably go be across the bottom of it. Man, I'm, man, I'm here to tell you. It's a, I used to know it by heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, it's, it's that new beginning. I'm going to have to put it. I'm going to put it on my note. Nine six. Nine six five six two three. Well, while six, he's eight. looking for the number, and that's three one zero. Okay, we got Happy New Year. Three two three nine six five one six zero zero. There you go. Again, that's three two three nine six five one six zero zero. Please call us in. Call in with your questions or comments, and we'll be looking forward. Yes. God bless and Happy New Year. Hello, my name is Mr. Shea, and I'd like to welcome you to the Mavet Way Studios. We're going to talk about some incredible new programs that we're introducing to the public. Let's talk about mental and financial training, which is the key. We emphasize practical strategies on mental and financial training, techniques rather than just ideas and concepts. We promote and teach mind technology to thinking things into a higher level of existence. What is Mavet? Well, Mavet is not a business opportunity but an opportunity to do businesses and develop multiple revenue streams. We believe if you chase money, you'll never have it. But if you chase personal growth and financial education, you are sure to obtain wealth. We started our beta test in 2014, and we've been able to help new and existing non-fundable businesses get over two million for their dream and vision in just 14 months, where most programs could not. $10 a join, $10 a month. Our cause is to help those entrepreneurs achieve the success they deserve by utilizing our vendors who will assist them in personal and business credit building, government funding, small business building programs, business lines of credit, private funding, nonprofit business development, financial and personal growth education. We partner with and promote dozens of new and existing small businesses, social organizations, churches, real estate investors, educational components, underwriters, and financial institutions throughout the United States to enhance investing, financing, credit, and literacy opportunities. $10 to join, $10 a month. One of our nonprofit organizations I'm really excited about, women inspiring women, empowering women in business. We promote positive spiritual programs. Our belief is that there is a creator and we are creations of the creator as long as every belief is principally based and we can work together to form a healthy financial, spiritual environment which will contribute to stronger communities and a better world. Stewards Rise Up is one of our spiritual programs. Here's a program I'm really excited about. The 35 and Under Future Millionaires, a program for young entrepreneurs. Additional services, services to look for, uh, option trading and setup, custom web design, real estate investing, nonprofit setup and build up, build up is important, business funding coaching, community empowerment business university, the Mavet Way TV and radio station, one minute pitch, corporate setup and build up. Build up is very important. How many of you would like millionaire privilege? We need to understand how personal credit works. We need to be 
personal credit worthy. We need to understand how business credit works. We need to be business credit worthy. Ten dollars a join, ten dollars a month. Let me ask you a question. Do you believe a great credit score is important? Do you feel a credit score of 700 or higher is a priority for families in America? Well, we have a great five-step credit program. We call it the Community Empowerment Pack that will help you achieve results, will help individual scores go up from 100 points to 200 points or better. We're helping entrepreneurs pay their debt down. We're educating and providing them with personal growth and financial literacy tools to help them with wealth creation. Learning how to become business credit worthy. This is very important, listen to this. Rule number one, you own nothing and control everything. You own nothing and control everything. Dream Vision Nation is a major resource. And the Mavet Way, and the Community Empowerment Movement Network is a major resource to help you get control. What do massively successful business people have in common? More than one credit profile. With corporate credit, our program, you can help build many business credit profiles with high credit scores. If you choose our corporate builder program, we can help you achieve. You can get as many profiles as you want, if you should choose, with the Dream Vision Nation program. What can you do with a business credit profile? You can lease vehicles like BMWs or Mercedes with added tax benefits. You can invest in large projects like commercial property, land or construction, or even a new house. You can protect your personal assets from that of the business. Learn how to incorporate. Start over with a new credit file if you need to, instead of just being stuck with your personal credit. Learn how to put extra money into your retirement savings. Start new businesses you always wanted to start. $10 down, $10 a month. Learn how to cut your tax burden by 40%. Separate your personal credit report from your new shiny business credit profile. Get a new business credit report for every new business you start. Cash is king, but credit is queen. And every queen will tell you, you can't be a good king without a good queen. Let me ask you this. How many people you know have less than perfect credit? How many people you know need money for new and existing businesses? If you had an opportunity to get 10,000, maybe 20,000, 50,000, 100,000, 250,000 or more, would that help you enhance your new or existing business? Well, Dream Vision Nation can help. We're a financial small business educational company. Our cause is to empower communities of all races and financial backgrounds. We have access to over 100 banks across the country. We specialize in helping people with credit challenges. I know I've utilized the program myself. I've been able to secure over 500,000 in 24 months. Question. If you had an opportunity to obtain a great credit score, what would be the two things you'd want to accomplish? Maybe a home, maybe a better interest rate. If you had an opportunity to get the money you needed for your dream and vision, how much would that be? $10,000, $50,000, $100,000, $250,000, $500,000, or more? If you had an opportunity to choose a couple months of income, how much would that be? $5,000 a month, $10,000 a month, $25,000 a month? Great news. We've helped a lot of people in this same situation. We're giving many of our members the opportunity to earn bonuses. The system will help our members make extra money by paying the program forward to other entrepreneurs who need assistance to either start or enhance their business. We call it the Pay It Forward and Get Paid program. We feel we've developed a system to help our members think things into a higher level of existence by educating them on how to engineer the life that they want, how to bring out the best of themselves each day, and living a life without limits. We're also going to help you get free credit scores and credit reports. Our goal is to put you in a position to obtain funding, if that's your choice. There are no guarantees, however, we are confident with our, with our ability to help you get results. Ten dollars a join, ten dollars a month. With the Community Empowerment Business University, we have success training, tools, and action steps you can take and quickly see and measure results from. Our training process will help the achievement of any goals faster and easier with less stress and strain than you would ever imagine possible. 
95% of businesses fail within three to five years during normal economic conditions. We know now more than ever before with our present economy, business owners need special help. This is why the Community Empowerment Business University program can help you. During, during this phase two beta test, we're going to choose entrepreneurs across the country to help. Our goal is to get each of them closer to their goal of obtaining the personal growth, financial education, and the money they need ASAP. We have testimonials of individuals who have gotten 69,000, 150,000, 95,000, 25,000, 38,000. Uh, just great testimonials helping people. $10 down and $10 a month. We're looking to coach new members in each state across the country. Go to www.cemnbetatest.com or text two words, start now at 424-277-0572. Once again, that's 424-277-0572. Start now or go to our website, www.cemnbetatest.com. Com. There are three types of individuals in this world. People who make things happen, people who watch things happen, and people say, what happened? It's an honor and a privilege to send this message to individuals I know who are ready to make things happen. $10 a join. $10. We'll see you. When I'm looking for a new ride, I look to the streets to see what's hot. what's hot. And you know what's hot? The new Car Pros Kia. Yeah, you see the plate all over the city. That's because my guy, Alabama, who has been putting it down for the past 10 years in rolling, will hook you up with the car of your dreams. Always ask for Alabama when you slide through. Now the new sleek and dynamic look with a ride that's so smooth that gives you the confidence when you roll up on your partners. You're like, yeah. Car Pros Kia sells for less. You see the plate. So get on down to Car Pros Kia, located at 21243 South Avalon Boulevard. Or give my guy Alabama a call at 310-528-0046. That's 310-528-0046. Hey, if you missed Alabama, you missed a good friend. And if you missed Jesus, you missed everything. Always ask for Alabama. Car Pros Kia, that's how I roll. Amen, amen. We're back. And we want to thank uh, uh, DVN um, for that educational uh, information that they give us. And it, it's so powerful. Uh, if you have a business or if you want to start an existing business, if you want to become personal or business credit worthy, uh, to be able just to um, function a little more better, and uh, 2016, uh, definitely give them a call. The number is 866-790-7501. Again, that's 866-790-7501. And, and Alabama, our dear friend down there at Car Pros Key and Carson, uh, right now, if you do your deal with him down there at Car Pros Kia, he's making unlimited uh, dreams come true for so many people. And uh, right now, if you do your deal with him, you can get $1,000 off your deal. Mm -hmm, that's what I said, $1,000 off of your deal. But you have to do it with Alabama. Give him a call and set up a schedule with him and find out when he's going to be in the dealership or either just go down there and try to catch him. But if you try to catch him and you don't catch him, leave and come back <laughs> uh, or just give him a call. His his number is 310-528-0046. That's 310-528-0046. Zero, zero, 
And uh, we're back at the beginning of the year. Uh, thanks be to God. Like I said, he's crossed us over into a new year. Where We have uh, First Lady Culpepper with us. She has made it. Uh, she has made it, yes. Oh, hey, everybody. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cold. Yeah. I'm cold. <laughs> it our, is quite chilly. Yeah. <laughs> and our topic um, is a new beginning. And the scripture that we were using for that was Second Corinthians 5 and 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And uh, Brother Kimball has expounded on the the first question on, you know, why this topic is so important at such a time as this. And uh, he brought out the fact that, you know, um, <clears throat> not only should we just strive to be better, but uh, it, it other people's destinies determine on, 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 on what we do. Uh, and um, it's true. Because I know, as you always say, there's, you know, you, we never know how many people are lined up behind us. And uh, therefore, in your absence, I brought that up. Oh, thank you. Amen. <laughs> that we don't know how many people are lined up behind us. And, you know, and God wants to help all of us. And so um, the thing that I would just like to say is... Uh, in this new year, know that your breakthrough, know that you're overcome, know that if you want things to be different, your outcome to be different, your results to be different, uh, Christ is the answer for that. Uh, the song says, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him, there's no other. Jesus is the way. Um, but uh, first lady, we want to, we want to give you a chance to uh, to speak to our listeners and uh, concerning this topic, um, a new beginning. Um, why do you feel this is such an important topic? Because uh, it's always nice to start over. It's always nice to have a chance to begin again and try and get it right this time. To try and be better, to do better. I always say, if you know better, you ought to do better. Although that's not true for quite a few of us. We know better and we still don't do better because we struggle with our own... Guilty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we struggle with our own stuff, you know? And so with that, there there has to become a, a point where um, you just have a changed mind, you know? And where the scripture says, if any man be in Christ, and that's the key. If you're in Christ and you are doing what he's asked you to do, and you're, you're, you got to read the word because when the word gets down on the inside of you, All right. then that, that change, that newness, Jesus, oh, yes. that transformation can come about. And uh, you, can, you can be new, you know, you can, you can begin again. What the, the topic is a new beginning. So you can have a new beginning because that's, that's the word. If any man be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. But the key is to be in Christ. So it's always important to let uh, the world know. And, 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 and the body of Christ know that we have to uh, be in Christ in order to be new. We want new beginnings. We want to have fresh starts and we want to have a do-over. But <laughs> you, <laughs> you got to be lined up with the Lord so he can help you, you know, do it over right. How about that? Because you can have as many do-overs as you want, but if you're still doing the same thing, what's what's the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing, expecting different that results. results, right, right? Exactly. So pretty much, we're insane until <laughs> we have a mm, moment mm, of mm. clarity, and uh, we just we realize that we can't do anything without the help of the Lord. That's right. Nothing. You can't do anything without the help of the Lord. We need one another. We do. We need one another. We need, yeah, because you, it, it you know, life is very interesting. Mm -hmm. 
and we do need one another. It's a body, right? Right, absolutely. And the body functions on all the different parts. Right. All the different parts need one another to function to be a body. So we do. We need one another. We need one another to encourage one another, to lift each other up, to to correct one another sometimes, you know. What's that word say? Rebuke, reprove. <laughs> Woo! We need all of that. You know, in love though. Yes, absolutely. Well you know like they say we're all related. Yes. But I think some people look at that in a literal way of thinking like, I'm not related to her. She no, you know, she's not my cousin, my sister. Right. But we're all related through God for first and foremost. Right. But we're also related because if I go out this door and I do something wrong, like shoot up the block or do something, it's going to affect everybody else in this room. That's right. All yeah. right. In one way or another, be you can't get home or you will be a suspect some way, somehow, right. my <laughs> actions suspect. can affect the way your day will go. So we right. are truly affected. Oh, yeah. And well, if you win the lottery and you give me some money out of this big lottery, I'm going to be very happy. So we <laughs> Say, right? Say, 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 so that's when you don't mind being right. related. <laughs> <laughs> that's a billion dollar say jackpot that. right now. So uh, if you get it, give a brother some. Um, you know, it's, it's like, I'm sorry, Pastor. Oh, no, go ahead. It's like puzzle pieces. You know, we're all a part of that puzzle. We all fit together Absolutely. some kind of way. We're all connected some kind of way. And without, you know, it's, it's nothing like working on a puzzle and you got one piece that you you can't find. It's missing. So then your puzzle is not complete. Right. Um, I like the way that you brought that out concerning the, the puzzle piece. Uh, because um, in the beginning of time, God had a plan mm -hmm. uh, for this puzzle, mm -hmm. this thing called life. Uh, that we deal with on a daily basis. And it's not until we allow him to start us on that new journey that we can be a part of the puzzle. Right. Um, you know, uh, like they say, say, if you aren't part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Right. And uh, no matter how much we want to get around it, you know, people want to say, well, that's not me. Uh, uh, I, I'm not that bad. We all were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Right. We, 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 we have to, I believe the word says, be born again. Right. Uh, uh, you, your life has to be changed. Your life has to be touched by God. You, 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 you have to uh, believe and accept uh, uh, that Christ came and uh, died and rose again to, uh, just so that you could have a new beginning. Right. And, uh, you know, until that time, you're just stuck in a rut. Mm. And uh, uh, the devil has his foot on you. Uh, uh, you say, 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 step on your chest so you can't breathe. Uh, Amen. You know what? Uh, <laughs> you say, mess around, he might kill you in your sleep. You, you know, know what? You know what? <laughs> if you want to find a fast of the, the fa fastest way to find out about Christ, Get holier than thou or self-righteous and act like you don't need him. I guarantee you a challenge or a lesson will come your way that will knock you on your knees where you huh. end up in prayer. And you know what? And you know what? God is so gracious that he allows that to happen. Absolutely. In everyone's life. Now, but it's up to you if you're going to have the good sense to say, you know what? God can get me out of this. Let me try God. Are you going to try God? Or are you going to, like uh, uh, the sister said over here, are you going to try the same thing, mm. hoping that it works this time? Mm. Or, 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 or what are you going to do? Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to try to smoke. Maybe the smoke didn't work for me. I'm going to try to drink. And you know what? I, I really don't like to drink. I'm, right. uh, I, I'm, gonna try to snort. And it's, <laughs> it's like, it's like, and you know, and, and needles might be my thing. Ooh, I, I ain't no. too, I ain't too afraid of that. But and I, and I always feel that I can quit whenever I want. Right. You know. So let me try something to help me get <laughs> I over bet the a hump. Whole gang of people yeah. on Skid Row have felt that same way. You know what I'm saying? Said, let me try something to get over the hump. And, and and the reason why I talk like this, I don't want. I'm not talking about. Nobody, I'm, you know, you uh, put me in the box. 
uh, because I, I, I tried the, uh, the marijuana. I tried the alcohol. I, I tried the cocaine. I tried, I tried all of that. But see, you know what? I was trying to get over the hump. But when I realized that the only way I can get over the hump is to go to the man that made the hump. You know, it's as well, you, know? like, you say that, Pastor, yeah, it's so I had to go to the man that made the hump. But see, people don't realize, even when you have a challenge before you that you can't handle, then you take it to the author and give it over to God to change their energy around into something you can handle. Yes. You know, read, just give it to him rather than put that on yourself. And you know, the song says, take it to the Lord and leave it there. Now, and I'm going to let you know, the biggest thing for us isn't, that the hardest thing for us isn't taking it to the Lord. Uh, the hardest thing for us is to leave it there. Leave it, exactly. You know, you, 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 because see, when you leave it, then that means you don't think about it no more. Right. You know, but, but no, as soon as you leave it, the devil's going to already have you, t- t- yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you on that shoulder. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. trying to get you to remember what you've dropped off. But... If you can, like you said, you take it there and you leave it, you can have a new beginning in so many facets of your life. Uh, 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 there's benefits in new beginnings. Uh, 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 I, I, I'm going to go ahead and shoot this out there real quick. I was going to ask you guys the questions. Uh, who can benefit from a new beginning? Well, I'm just going to answer it first. Everybody (laughs) can benefit from it because nobody is in a position where you don't need a new beginning somewhere in your life. Absolutely. Do you understand? I mean, mean, Christians, the the Word tells us uh, daily we must crucify our flesh because the devil is there every time you desire to do good. Evil is always present. God knew that this wasn't going to be an easy road to, to go. He knew it was going to be a hard road to hold. But, you know, uh, he, he's given us the answers in the book and in, in, in how we every day we, 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 we must look to him for a new beginning. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Amen. Oh, well, I'm going to stop can talking. I, I first, first, first lady is over here wondering when I'm going to be quiet. No, <laughs> That's no. all right. I, oh, it's all right. No. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I just get emotional oh, Lord, when it say. comes to the word. That's all. I'm, I'm, I'm one step away from dropping a tear. So I, I hear you because when you talk about a, a new beginning, this is something that really is heavy on my heart right now. We as a nation are in serious oh. need of a new, better beginning. Yes. Because the fact that what I saw this Muslim woman go through yesterday huh. at Donald Trump's rally, if people think that that's something new, that isn't. Because that same thing that that woman had to deal with was the same thing my ancestors, my grandmother, and people before me it's had nothing to new. deal with. Okay, so, tell me, what happened? I missed it. There was a woman that attended his rally who mm-hmm. wore her burqa and mm-hmm. had a saying, but she was talking about it, a pre- bringing, coming in love. Mm-hmm. And because she stood up by herself in protest of what he was saying about Muslims, these men surrounded her, taunted her, called her names. They escorted her out, and it just gave me chills because all I could think about was the footage I seen done to black women in the 60s having Mm -hmm. dogs being chased after them, hoses being turned on them. Mm. This is the very same thing that happened in the 60s that we are doing right now. Because it is not me that they're going after does not make it all right. right. Because the day when we think it doesn't affect us, Mm. I guarantee you, we will will be next. So unless we stand together and united against this, we will constantly stay in this situation. (laughs) And the day will come when we will be that one that they're talking about. Oh, but you know, Kimball, we are still in that We spot. Absolutely, we are. You no, know, next, we there right now. We still there. They are killing us like flies. Left and right. And left and right. Um, it's interesting because I, you know, um, I work with little ones, second and third graders, and I'm always telling them, you know, you have to make better choices because as young black African Americans, they are waiting to put you in places that yes, you were they never are. designed to go. Oh, yes. You know, and I tell, I remind them every year, okay, third graders, you know, get it together because they take your test scores and determine how many new prisons they're going to build. And that's a fact. And I told yes. them, I said, they don't take into account that 
Maybe your parents got a divorce. Or maybe you've suffered some some trauma. You're homeless now. Or, you know, your grandpa died or your mom passed or your dad passed. They don't take in anything into consideration mm. as far as to why you may have scored so poorly. Maybe that day was just a horrible, that whole week, whenever you were testing, it just may have been one hit after the other, you know, because the enemy knows what he's doing. Absolutely. You understand? He starts <laughs> way back from the way back in the womb with them, you know, trying to take, you know, the little ones out so that he can he can he can stop that generation from coming forth. So he starts early as early as he can to try and snatch them up. So I let them know, you know, don't think that it's coincidental but everything you do they're watching you and in third grade really you look at a test scores to see and they said well Miss Culpepper why are they doing that I said well because statistics have proven hmm. and they're like what's that I said it's a number and it's a number that says if they follow a group of children from now until to see where they end up well they have proven that in third grade is where the decline starts where it starts to go bad and wow. so they have mm. they have just decided that, well, we better start building these prisons. I said, so what you have to tell yourself is my name will not be on anybody's prison cell. Yeah, because mm. I can so tell you. you have to do better. When I was in the third grade, I don't even think I knew how to walk all the way home by myself. <laughs> and I have never been in a prison or plan on going. You know, and you I'm 51 I'm years old, so you it see? ain't in my on my agenda. So that bogus and reality. You know I wonder, what was your test score? I wonder it now myself. You know what I'm saying? I wonder. I wonder, what was my test score? I wonder if I could go back and research that because now I'm extremely curious. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it, it doesn't deter, you know, we have to remind our, our babies and just each one another, your situation should not determine your final destination. Well, look, we know already if we see a bunch of Caucasian kids, they're, they're just acting out. We see that same black youth doing the same thing. There's a bunch of rowdy thugs. So each group gets labeled differently. Right. And the response and the reaction. Listen, we talk about those men who are living, taking over that government building and have rifles oh, and have yeah. committed not to leave under no circumstances and they will fight. There has not been one person, no arm, no guard, uh, no armies, no, no one has gone there to challenge them. But I guarantee you, mm -hmm. if there were a bunch of people that looked like me, this situation would have been done, gone, finished. I would be buried or on my wow. way to my grave. Well, That's a guaranteed fact. I uh, tell you. Well, I want to. I want to jump in there right before we take that commercial break because you know, uh, at all through all through history, um, we've seen where uh, is if it were another another uh, uh, crowd of people over here, like you said, it would be acting out. But over here, if it was a different type of people, it, it's disturbing the peace. Uh, uh, you know, it, it's it, you know, it's it, it's harassment. Uh, but uh, but and I really wish that we had longer to speak on this because there's it, 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 I see today where we're speaking on a reason why there needs to be a new beginning Absolutely. spiritually because it can trickle down into the society and uh, like you said the those prisons that will that that, that are being built if mm -hmm. they if the mind see it all starts in the mind the and mind. if and and if the if god can get a hold to the mind there could be a change in the mindset the the the, the jails can be empty mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. what i'm saying mm -hmm. uh, uh and, and, and then they have to you know uh, uh, uh fix it up for something else maybe you know but uh but uh like i said i wish we had so much longer today we're gonna have to go to another the commercial break, but I want uh, uh, my family, my fabulous panel of uh, of uh, evangelist Cole Pepper and Kimball. You guys get ready. I want want you guys to be able to give our listeners, uh, uh, let our viewers uh, know um, how to receive this thing called a new beginning. And then we're going because we we don't want to leave them, you know, not wondering, right. you know, well, how do I get a hold to it? And we're going to uh, definitely hit on that and, and try to come back and tap on it a little more next week also because, you know, it's something that 
everyone needs. Right. You know, even if you feel like you don't need it, I'm here to let you know that not only do you need it, you can use it. And because you can use it, you need to have it. Amen. As we mm. go to a commercial break, uh, and you can uh, call call in, call us in with your, your questions or your comments, 323 number 965-1600. Again, that's 323-965-1600. God bless you. Hello, my name is Mr. Shea, and I'd like to welcome you to the Mavet Way Studios. We're going to talk about some incredible new programs that we're introducing to the public. Let's talk about mental and financial training, which is the key. We emphasize practical strategies on mental and financial training, techniques rather than just ideas and concepts. We promote and teach mind technology to thinking things into a higher level of existence. What is Mavet? Well, Mavet is not a business opportunity but an opportunity to do businesses and develop multiple revenue streams. We believe if you chase money, you'll never have it. But if you chase personal growth and financial education, you are sure to obtain wealth. We started our beta test in 2014, and we've been able to help new and existing non-fundable businesses get over two million for their dream and vision in just 14 months, where most programs could not. $10 a join, $10 a month. Our cause is to help those entrepreneurs achieve the success they deserve by utilizing our vendors who will assist them in personal and business credit building, government funding, small business building programs, business lines of credit, private funding, nonprofit business development, financial and personal growth education. We partner with and promote dozens of new and existing small businesses, social organizations, churches, real estate investors, educational components, underwriters, and financial institutions throughout the United States to enhance investing, financing, credit, and literacy opportunities. $10 to join, $10 or more. One of our nonprofit organizations I'm really excited about, women inspiring women, empowering women in business. We promote positive spiritual programs. Our belief is that there is a creator and we are creations of the creator as long as every belief is principally based and we can work together to form a healthy financial, spiritual environment which will contribute to stronger communities and a better world. Stewards Rise Up is one of our spiritual programs. Here's a program I'm really excited about. The 35 and Under Future Millionaires, a program for young entrepreneurs. Additional services, services to look for, uh, option trading and setup, custom web design, real estate investing, nonprofit setup and build up, build up's important, business funding coaching, community empowerment business university, the Mavet Way TV and radio station, one minute pitch, corporate setup and build up. Build up is very important. How many of you would like millionaire privilege? We need to understand how personal credit works. We need to be personal credit worthy. We need to understand how business credit works. We need to be business credit worthy. Ten dollars a join, ten dollars a month. Let me ask you a question. Do you believe a great credit score is important? Do you feel a credit score of 700 or higher is a priority for families in America? Well, we have a great five-step credit program. We call it the Community Empowerment Pack that will help you achieve results, will help individual scores go up from 100 points to 200 points or better. We're helping entrepreneurs pay their debt down. We're educating and providing them with personal growth and financial literacy tools to help them with wealth creation. Learning how to become business credit worthy. This is very important, listen to this. Rule number one, you own nothing and control everything. You own nothing and control everything. Dream Vision Nation is a major resource, and the Mavet Way, and the Community Empowerment Movement Network is a major resource to help you get control. What do massively successful business people have in common? More than one credit profile. With corporate credit, our program, you can help build many business credit profiles with high credit scores. If you choose our corporate builder program, we can help you achieve. You can get as many profiles as you want, if you should choose, with the Dream Vision Nation program. What can you do with a business credit profile? You can lease vehicles like 
BMWs or Mercedes with added tax benefits. You can invest in large projects like commercial property, land or construction, or even a new house. You can protect your personal assets from that of the business. Learn how to incorporate. Start over with a new credit file if you need to instead of just being stuck with your personal credit. Learn how to put extra money into your retirement savings. Start new businesses you always wanted to start. $10 down, $10 a month. Learn how to cut your tax burden by 40%. Separate your personal credit report from your new shiny business credit profile. Get a new business credit report for every new business you start. Cash is king, but credit is queen. And every queen will tell you, you can't be a good king without a good queen. Let me ask you this. How many people you know have less than perfect credit? How many people you know need money for new and existing businesses? If you had an opportunity to get 10,000, make 20,000, 50,000, 100,000, 250,000 or more, would that help you enhance your new or existing business? Well, Dream Vision Nation can help you. We're a financial small business educational company. Our cause is to empower communities of all races and financial backgrounds. We have access to over 100 banks across the country. We specialize in helping people with credit challenges. I know I've utilized the program myself. I've been able to secure over 500,000 in 24 months. Question, if you had an opportunity to obtain a great credit score, what would be the two things you would want to accomplish? Maybe a home, maybe a better interest rate. If you had an opportunity to get the money you needed for your dream and vision, how much would that be? $10,000, $50,000, $100,000, $250,000, $500,000 or more? If you had an opportunity to choose a couple month of income, how much would that be? $5,000 a month, $10,000 a month, $25,000 a month? Great news. We've helped a lot of people in this same situation. We're giving many of our members the opportunity to earn bonuses. The system will help our members make extra money by paying the program forward to other entrepreneurs who need assistance to either start or enhance their business. We call it the Pay It Forward and Get Paid program. We feel we've developed a system to help our members think. Was hello, hello. And we're back. And I believe we have a caller. The young lady's name is Ty. Ty. T-A-H. T-A-H. How are you, young lady? Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you, too. All right. Thank you. Am I on the air? Yes, you are. Oh, you're, oh, oh, you're, oh, oh, you're on the air? You're on the <laughs> wave? You're, 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 you're riding the loop? Is that my Kimball? Yes, that's is your, Kimball. That is your Kimball. Hi, Kimball. I just want to say those walks home from school when you were in the third grade, it was okay because I was walking with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> appreciate it. N nobody was going to bother you. No, thank you. I, I appreciate that. I feel secure and safe. I would like to say hello to the pastor and the first lady. How are you? Hey, man. God bless you. We're great. Thank you. I wanted to speak on uh, this is such an interesting topic about new beginnings. And um, everyone experience new, new beginnings differently. For me, I have to shut it down and I have to center with with God and I because I have to be able to hear him mm -hmm. when I'm when I'm shut down if I've got a lot of things going on a lot of people calling and in and out of my house and and requesting my energy that I don't, I don't have right now because it's for me I have to shut it down new beginnings for me is being able to hear the Lord. Right, right. And so you shut it down so that way you have the clarity to hear when the Lord is speaking to you for when you're trying to work something out or get a new beginning on something? Exactly. And everything I do is in a meditative state. And this is, so, this is so interesting because today, I ch uh, today is a meditative day. So every movement, everything, and, and I'm not having a lot of communication. For some reason, and it has to be divine, I decided to text Kimball for some reason. 
Oh wow! Yeah, and then and then it happened because I'm not I'm not communicating right now, not 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 out of rudeness or anything, but I have to shut it down because there's uh, order that I have to walk, and I cannot walk it with all the background noise, mm -hmm. and so I have to be able to hear God, right? Yes, talking to me, right. um, helping me to look at me. Because whatever the gifts are and whatever my purpose is, I have to be able to, to execute that properly. Right. right. Did you also I can't, want us to I can't, I'm sorry. I'm doctor. sorry. Did no, you, you also ahead. want us to pray for you as well? Oh, yes, please. Because I need to, I need to stay in my meditative state, in my prayer state. Right. So everything that all movement today is in meditation and prayer from washing the dishes to frying some fish to <laughs> putting up to feeding the dog to and then I'm I'm the parent of an adult um autistic child. Oh, wow. My son is severely autistic to him. You know, everything is um meditative and when I'm meditative I notice that I haven't given him medication all day. Well, wow, it's by divine order, I know. Understand? Listen, we because we only have a couple of minutes left on the air. I get I it. I get like, it. You want us to do a quick prayer with you now? You want to call us back next week? How do you? We can do. We can do it now. Do it now. Let's do it now. Lord, right now, my Heavenly Father, this once more and again we come before you, Lord, thanking you for all things. Lord, right now, my Heavenly Father, Lord, asking you, Lord, to look on Tay, Lord, our sister, yes. Lord, your daughter, Lord, you made her and you know all about her. Lord, right now, my Heavenly Father, Lord, she's seeking you. Lord, right now, my Heavenly Father, in a divine way, Lord, and we know, Lord, that right now, my Heavenly Father, we cannot have anything, Lord, without coming to you. Lord, asking you, Lord, to touch her heart, mind soul and body yes, Lord God. give her Lord what she is looking for strengthen her where she's weak build her up where she's torn down prop her up on every lean side Lord I ask you right now my heavenly father Lord to bless her mentally physically emotionally spiritually and financially Lord right now my heavenly father Lord that she may come forth Lord as a vessel my heavenly father letting this dying world know Lord that you're a, a God Lord that will heal save and deliver Lord and we call it done right now in your darling son Jesus name Thank God and amen. Amen. Amen, Tata. Amen. God amen. bless you. Thank you for calling in. We certainly appreciate your support and calling in. That's for sure. You're and welcome. I, and You're I, welcome. I know today was by divine order, the way everything happened, but I I hope you will continue to tune in and support us and, and uh, be there for us. Uh, appreciate it. I will. I will. And y'all take care and God bless you. All right. Much love and to you. God, God bless. bless you. All right. Good night. A amen. I believe we're right to the end. Amen. So we want to thank, amen, Evangelist Culpepper for coming in. Let's give, right. her, give her a hand. Amen. I want to thank Kimball for coming in. Give him a hand. Amen. Amen. We want to thank, amen, the Holy Ghost for always being here with us. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and what a wonderful time we have had starting off in the beginning of the year. We know it's just going to get greater. Uh, again, my name is Reverend John M. Cole Pepper, Jr., pastor of Holy St. Andrews Missionary Baptist Church. We're located 2410 West Florence. And if you just want to uh, worship with some people who love God and just love one another, that's that's what we do. Uh, we love each other and we love God and we just love to lift his holy name over there on 3rd Avenue in Florence. So if you, if you aren't doing anything, amen, uh, Sunday school starts at all ages, 9 o'clock, morning worship at 11. Uh, please come be a part and I'm here to let you know that your very soul will be blessed. Amen. Uh, until next time, God bless you and God keep you is our prayer.
celebrate the greatness of our God. He's great and he's greatly to be praised. It's the worship song that says this. Our God is awesome. My God. 